What goes up must come down. This isn't the official motto of the Chinese space program, but if anyone has their email address, maybe we can pitch it to them. Because yet another of their rockets has just made an uncontrolled return to Earth. Here's what you need to know. Remnants of the Chinese Long March 5B rocket that was launched last month have crashed back down to Earth and into the Indian Ocean at a speed of around 4.8 miles per second, according to Reuters. On Sunday, Chinese state media, citing the China Manned Space Engineering Office, said the rocket debris had mostly burned up upon re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. However, footage of the rocket's uncontrolled descent was recorded from Jordan, Oman, and Saudi Arabia, according to The Guardian. Corroborating those images, the monitoring service SpaceTrack, which uses U.S. military data, said the rocket was recorded above Saudi Arabia before falling into the Indian Ocean to the west of the Maldives. After days of speculation that the debris could hit land and endanger lives, U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin said in a statement on NASA's website, it is clear that China is failing to meet responsible standards regarding their space debris. Wang Wenbin, a spokesman for China's foreign ministry, dismissed concerns about the re-entry, saying it is common practice across the world for upper stages of rockets to burn up while re-entering the atmosphere. Emphasizing the lack of controlled outcome, Harvard-based astrophysicist Jonathan McDowell said the debris could have landed as far north as New York or as far south as southern Chile, according to The Guardian. The crash may not have been the only potentially dangerous part of this mission, either. On Monday, McDowell tweeted that the module the Long March 5B rocket launched into space had come within 300 kilometers of the International Space Station, close enough to raise the possibility of it being a deliberate gesture, according to McDowell. For anyone excited to find out when the next piece of Chinese engineering could land on their heads, the Shenzhou-12 mission will use a Long March 2F rocket to send three astronauts into low Earth orbit in June, according to Space.com. Check out how things went down the last time this happened. Parts of a Chinese space lab will likely plummet somewhere over Earth this weekend. China's Tiangong-1 spacecraft is predicted to fall to Earth on Saturday, March 31st, or Sunday, April 1st. According to Aerospace Corporation, re-entry will begin when the spacecraft falls to an altitude of 120 kilometers above Earth. Some of this may be visible from Earth. As it descends to an altitude of 80 kilometers, the spacecraft will break apart. The UK Space Agency's chief engineer told the BBC that most of Tiangong-1 will burn up on re-entry, with surviving debris likely falling into the ocean. Experts say the risk of it impacting a city or populated area are very low. Aerospace Corporation says the chances of someone being hit by Tiangong-1 are one in a trillion. Earlier forecast estimated re-entry at between March 29th and April 9th. Impact is expected somewhere between 43 degrees north and 43 degrees south latitudes. Do we have a new kind of space race on our hands? The answer might be yes, if Chinese President Xi Jinping has anything to do with it. On Thursday, he declared the latest step in China's manned space program an important pilot project in the building of a powerful nation in both technology and space, according to Reuters reporting quotes from Chinese state media. Here's what you need to know. China has launched the first module of its new Tiangong space station, according to the BBC. The module, known as Tianhe, is 16.6 meters long and 4.2 meters in diameter and will orbit Earth at an altitude of 340 to 450 kilometers or 210 to 280 miles. Once in orbit, the module will provide power and propulsion for the station and operate as the living quarters for astronauts. It will usually support three people at a time, and six during crew changeovers, according to IEEE Spectrum. The Wentian and Mengtian modules, designed to house scientific experiments, will connect with Tianhe in 2021. Tianhe's other docking ports will allow crewed Shenzhou and Tianzhou spacecraft to dock with the station. After being blocked from joining the International Space Station by the U.S., China's new station will be closer in size to the Russian Mir station, according to IEEE Spectrum. It will weigh 66 metric tons versus the International Space Station's 420 metric tons. Space.com reports China followed a three-step strategy to get to this stage, first building crewed spacecraft, followed by the mini space stations Tiangong-1 and 2. However, Tiangong-1 crashed to Earth in April 2018. Of course, the Tiangong station is by no means China's only space exploration project. It has already landed a rover on the far side of the moon, and according to the Associated Press, another Chinese rover is due to land on Mars within the next month. China is planning to send a space probe to Mars next year. China's Mars 2020 mission will be launched on a long March 5 carrier rocket from the Wenchang spacecraft launch site in Hainan province. The lander, along with an orbiter and a rover, will be deployed to the Red Planet. 
The mission is being called the Mars Global Remote Sensing Orbiter and Small Rover, or HX-1. The lander is designed to operate for three Martian months. The lander will touch down on the northern hemisphere of Mars, according to the State Council of the People's Republic of China's website. The lander will contain a rover that has six wheels and four solar panels and will be able to explore Mars by itself. The rover will contain a remote sensing camera as well as a ground-penetrating radar and is expected to collect Martian soil and bring it back to Earth by 2030, according to Futurism.com. The news comes after the success of China's moon mission earlier this month. China's lunar probe made history as the first spacecraft to ever touch down on the far side of the moon. The spacecraft took off in December last year with a lander and a rover. It also took along cotton seeds and potato seeds to see if they would be able to grow in the low-gravity environment. The cotton seeds had since sprouted, but unfortunately the cotton plants didn't make it, with the temperatures being too low to survive, the Independent reports. The lander analyzed the far side of the moon using various features, including a landing camera and a terrain camera, and sent back images to our planet via Chao, a relay satellite. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.